good YouTube. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best tips and tricks for notifications for your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This will work for the S24 Ultra, S24, and the S24 Plus as well. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Notifications are an important function of your phone, and some of these tips that we're going to go into are a little bit less well known, but will help you with things like multitasking and just keeping tracking and managing your notifications. The first tip that we want to look at for notifications is actually your notification volume. There's actually several ways to adjust your notification volume depending on where you are in your phone. And depending on what your needs are during the day, you may want to set this at different times using different methods. The easiest method of setting your notification volume is to actually use the volume rockers on the right of the phone and you can bring up the volume and then from there you want to hit the three dots button. Then you'll see that you'll be presented with this expanded volume menu. And then you can use the second vertical slider to adjust your notification volume. This is one of the easier ways to adjust your notification volume if you're in a pinch, but it can be quite easy to accidentally leave this on or off. So an easy, a different way of adjusting notification volume is actually through your settings. You want to jump in your settings and then from there you want to look for sound and vibration. And then once you find sound and vibration, you want to hit sound and vibration. From there, you want to scroll down and you want to look for a notification sound. And then from there, you want to hit notification sound. And then you can use a, a horizontal slider there to also adjust the notification sound volume. These are some of the faster. So depending on where you are in your phone, it can be easier to jump into your settings and use the horizontal slider. But if you need to quickly change your notifications, you can use this expanded volume menu by hitting the three dots button to quickly adjust your notifications as well. The tip that we're going to be getting into is actually controlling which apps can actually send notifications and which apps can't send notifications. If you find that you're getting too many notifications from certain apps, you can actually disable them in the notification menu. So to do this, what you want to do is actually jump into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you want to scroll down and you want to look for notifications. From there, you want to hit notifications. And then from there, you want to choose app notifications. And then from app notifications, you'll get a long list of which apps you can use to enable notifications. And you can choose which apps get notifications. Let's say, for example, you're getting too many Facebook notifications. You would hit and you would look and you would scroll down and you would look for Facebook. From there, you would hit for Facebook's and you can disable or enable app notifications from Facebook. Next tip that we want to look at is the do not disturb, which will mute your notifications for you. So there's a few things that you should probably want to be aware about in terms of do not disturb. First, we'll be taking a look at how to turn on or off do not disturb. And then from there, we'll be looking at a little bit more customization than you have in regards to the do not disturb mode and your notifications. So to get started, what you want to do is actually enable or disable the do not disturb mode. And there's a few ways that you can go about doing this. First is through control center. So once you have control center pulled down, you can actually use the do not disturb button there to turn on or off your notifications here. So if you turn this on, you won't be able to receive notifications or you won't get a notification sound or vibration whenever a new notification mode turns comes in. And then you can turn this off by just hitting that button as well. There's also another way of jumping into your do not disturb mode that you can go through in your settings. In your settings, what you want to do is scroll down and you want to look for notifications. From there, when you find notifications, you want to hit notifications. And then from there, what you want to do is look for the do not disturb menu. There you can hit the do not disturb menu and then you can use the toggle switch to turn it on or off. So there's two ways there that you can use to turn on quickly the do not disturb mode. But there's a little bit more customization that's involved as well. 
For example, if you want to turn on do not disturb mode for a certain amount of time, it's pretty easy to do so. From the control center, what you want to do is actually hold down on the do not disturb button and then you'll get a quick pop-up menu and you can schedule one, two, four, or until I turn it off in terms of having your do not disturb turned on. And then back in the do not disturb menu, you can also access the same menu by hitting it here. And then you can actually customize how long you want your do not disturb mode. And you can customize this to an extended period of time with hours, or you can ask every time. So just some pretty easy customizations that you can do to customize do not disturb for your schedule. Next notification tip that we have is notification bubbles. If you don't know, notification bubbles are little bubbles that pop up when you're in an app and you get, for example, a text message. You'll be able to access the text message through a notification bubble without actually leaving the app, a pretty handy feature for multitasking. And to enable notification bubbles, it's not actually turned on by default. You actually have to enable it. What you want to do is jump into your settings. And once you're in your settings, you want to scroll down and you want to look for notifications. From there, what you want to do is hit notifications. And then you want to scroll down and you want to look for advanced settings. From there, you want to look for floating notifications and then you want to hit floating notifications and you want to make sure that bubbles is turned on. And then from there, if you choose bubbles, notifications for compatible conversations will include an icon that you can use to tap and change the conversation to bubble view. A very quick and handy feature for multitasking. The next notification tip that we're going to be taking a look at is repeat notifications. This is where the phone will actually repeat a notification if you want it to in the event that you missed it or skipped over it the first time. There's a few customizations with repeat notifications as well, so we'll first go into actually how to turn it on. To access repeat notifications, what you want to do is actually jump into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you want to scroll down and you want to hit notifications. From there, what you want to do is scroll down and you want to look for advanced settings. And then from there, you want to hit advanced settings. And then from there, what you want to do is scroll down and you want to look for repeat notification alerts. And you can use the toggle switch to turn it on or off. From there, once it's on, you want to hit repeat notifications alerts and then you can choose which apps and also the repeat interval for your repeat notification alerts. So for example, if you want to repeat your Facebook notifications, you would choose that Facebook app in the repeat apps menu, and then you would choose the repeat interval from three, five, 10, or 15 minutes. Next tip we're gonna be taking a look at is lock screen notifications. So the nice thing about the always on display for your S24 device is that you can display notifications right on your lock screen. You may not want to do this if you have your phone facing up with other people around, but in this, if privacy isn't an issue for you, you can actually enable this. And this saves you a little bit of time in terms of viewing your latest notifications. To enable this is actually quite simple. What you actually want to do is jump into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you want to scroll down and you want to look for notifications. And then from there, you want to hit notifications. And then once you're in the notification menu, you want to hit lock screen notifications. From there, you want to hit lock screen notifications and you can turn this on or off, which will show notifications on the always on display. Next tip that we're going to go into is the actual notification pop-up style. There's two different styles available for your phone and the amount of information shown in the notification changes depending on which style that you choose. So if you're looking for a little bit more detail in regards to your notification, for example, the preview of a text message, you may want to look into changing your notification style. To access this, what you want to do is actually jump into your notification menu. Once you're in your notification menu, you want to hit notifications. And then from there, you want to scroll down and you want to look for notification pop-up style. When you find notification pop-up style, you hit notification pop-up style. And then from there, you can change it from brief, which will only show a very br brief glimpse of the notification to detailed 
where there's going to be more details in regards to each specific notification. This way you'll be able to get a preview of the notification without actually opening up the notification itself and jumping out of your app. This is good if you want to multitask and just keep track of what's going on with your notifications while you're in a specific app. There you have it everyone, these notification tips are designed to help you manage your notifications. As with all the apps available on your smartphone, it can get quite easy and overwhelming to have too many notifications that you can't keep track of. So whether it be using notification bubbles, or using repeat notifications, or just snoozing notifications all, to, all together, these tips are designed to hopefully help you manage your notifications and how you view them. If you found this kind of content helpful or if you have any other tips or notification features that you routinely use, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.